WSIL Harrisburg, KPOB Poplar Bluff. WSIL TV3, Harrisburg, Marion, Carbondale. Serving Southern Illinois, Western Kentucky, and Southeast Missouri, this is News 3 with Kathy Sweeney. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Millions of Soviets went to the polls for the first time today, casting their votes on whether or not the USSR should be... WSIL TV3, Harrisburg, Marion, Carbondale. And now, News 3 with Kathy Sweeney, Jim Razor with weather, and Mark Kiesling on sports. Good evening, everyone. A Chester man accused in connection with a contract murder and... You're watching WSIL TV3, Harrisburg, Marion, Carbondale, your local news source. You're watching... And now, News 3 at 10. With Terry Caldwell, meteorologist Jim Razor, and Mark Kiesling on sports. Good evening. Another region in southern Illinois... Live from WSIL-TV, this is News 3. Looking up to News 3, the Southern Illinois News Leader. Live from WSIL-TV in high definition, this is News 3. Breaking news tonight on two fronts. Two people are dead after a collision between a coal truck and a propane tanker. Plus, police have arrested the suspect of a carjacking that happened this afternoon in Mount Vernon. Good evening. We start with that deadly crash. Illinois State Police tell us from WSIL TV in high definition. This is News 3. We survived through it and uh, we were more prepared this time. A local business hit hard by flooding three years ago. You're starting your day with the Southern Illinois News Leader. Live from WSIL TV. News 3 this morning starts right now. Coming up on News 3 this morning, we're taking a look at the damage around our region following last night's severe weather. Plus, if you're dealing with storm cleanup this morning, we have some tips for stick. You're watching News 3, the Southern Illinois News Leader, live from WSIL. Your News 3 at 630 edition starts right now. And after the first glass shattering, our News 3, the Southern Illinois News Leader, live from WSIL TV in high definition. News 3 starts right now. Lawmakers look to reopen a former work camp. Plus, officials say watching News 3, the Southern Illinois News Leader, live from WSIL TV in high definition. News 3 starts right now. The new year means new laws in the state of Illinois. Plus, authorities... You're watching News 3, the Southern Illinois News Leader. Live from WSIL-TV in high definition. News 3 starts right now. You're watching News 3 with Mark Kiesling, meteorologist Jim Razor, and sports with Darren Kennard. Continues. We've got you covered. From WSIL, this is News 3 at 10. Good evening. We'll have those stories and more in a bit, but first, storms move through. From WSIL, you're watching News 3 with Brooke Schleyer, meteorologist J.C. Brienne, and sports with Kendra Sheehan. We've got you covered. Welcome back. Well, the guys at Crow... We've got you covered from WSIL. This is News 3 This Morning. Well, good morning to all of you. Look at that view behind me. Thank you so much for starting your Thursday with us. From WSIL, you're watching News 3 This Morning with Evie Allen, Dave Davis, and meteorologist Nick Housen. We've got you covered. We've got you covered. From WSIL, this is News 3 at 5. Idoni, good evening. I'm Victoria Idoni. We begin tonight with breaking. You're watching News 3 at 5 with Mark Kiesling, Victoria Idoni, and Chief Meteorologist Jim Razor. We've got you covered. You're watching WSIL TV3. 